as they call it at the convention, Artist Alley. Which, to be honest, was one of my, I really, really enjoyed it. It had some of the more of the cooler things for sure in it because one, you're getting original art from artists. Two, it's not big companies getting your money. You're giving your money to people. For example, this amazing artist, which I now feel so stupid that I don't know her name, to be able to tell you. <laughs> but this is $10. It's very small. But she had her big pieces of art and then these are the little ones. So just to throw 10 bucks and support her, I did. Everyone knows I love cats and it's a cat fighting a robot. And you'll find stuff like this. Beautiful. I mean, it's nice heavy wood. It's all handmade. It's a print that's been then, you know, glued on, treated, but just beautifully done. And, and you can find all kinds of gems like this for decorating, anything. Uh, this is another example of that exact same thing. So it's uh, someone that I've known for years, a guy named Salgood Sam. This is a uh, postcard size image, $2. It's a beautiful little piece. Um, the artwork's incredible. Uh, Salgood Sam has been doing conventions for years, a lot of these artists have. You can also often bundle up stuff like we got his new book. Um, or his most recent book, I guess it's not his new book. He's working on his new book now. That's cool. But again, you're getting, you know, 300 pages, beautiful artwork, great story, all independent. You're going to find anywhere else, plus the postcard for under 20 bucks. Plus, didn't they, instead of a signature, doesn't they do something cool? Oh, as that's the right, cover? that's right, I forgot. Inside, and you'll find a lot of artists will do this as well, commission pieces or even just for free. So he does your portrait or a portrait of anyone that you ask of uh, inside in this beautiful little frame. He's left blank in each, each edition. That's so each one is awesome. a custom made one. And awesome. again, you'll find a lot of artists who will do custom stuff like that. That's awesome. uh, last but not least, I went and saw the guys at uh, Hunter Thompson Press who do Zombie uh, Jesus. <laughs> and they do. Um, A bunch of, well, they do a bunch of different independent books and independent films. Uh, it's Hunter Thompson Incorporated. Um, you can find them. Uh, just incredible work. A bunch of different artists working together and doing, um, what do they have? Those great uh, Star Wars shirts where they'll do sort of mockeries of Star Wars stuff. But you've probably seen those like Darth Vader uh, pushing Luke Skywalker on a swing set and that kind of stuff. Like just. And their boots actually had a legitimate zombie Jesus. Insert picture. <laughs> was awesome. <laughs> uh, the other book they're famous for is Champions of Hell. Uh, is, uh, and, the and also one of the artists that was there, an old friend of mine, uh, Robin Thompson, was doing his own prints. Again, similar to the other art that we have seen so far. You can find an artist. This is mine. And again, Are you kidding me? Okay, we gotta get in a little closer. If you can't see. This is his take on Fallout. It's phenomenal. One Easter egg alien is up in here. A dog meat, the dweller. It's so detailed and beautifully done. Look at that. And just his take on the characters made them more real life looking. Um, this is so beautiful. I'm so excited to frame it. I just Loved it, absolutely loved it. So going with more art and, and just neat, interesting things. Girl stuff. I'll let you grab that one while I check a little bit. But it's inventive stuff. Uh, I got this handmade Neptune bracelet to look like a tiara. It was four bucks. Hello. I got, ooh, perfect. Lily Pop. That's the name. And they have really cool jewelry. They had earrings. So I got Artemis in a pair. Two Artemis you got. And I got the Luna. I just instantly bought them, went into the bathroom and wore them, but I did one in each ear. And again, these are a little expensive. I think they were not expensive. They were like $15 in a pair. But again, I'm not going to find this yeah. anywhere. And it's kind of cool to be able to like help support. And you know it's another fan like yourself. Yeah. Now I just realized I also, I just don't have them here. I also got from a stand, I'm not sure where I put it, um, Lego earrings. And they were oh, yeah. super duper cute. And you'll get neat stuff like that too in Artist Alley where people will do, who are fans, and aren't necessarily licensed to 
to do certain <laughs> things. But it is fan art, and I don't think it does anyone any harm. Yeah. Um, it's just other fans enjoy stuff. So these uh, booths I didn't get a chance to go to. It was awesome. But my lovely lady here did. Uh, and the pieces she got, again, are fan-made, absolutely beautiful. And the guy told me when I bought them, and as I said, wow, I love these. And he's like, I make every one of love. So I was like, oh. So look at these cool figures. And I got all four for $30. So they were $10 each where you could bundle them up. So do you get the figure? If you don't know who this is from, it's from an awesome show, Gravity Falls. It's super check it out, it, it ended. But you can still find it. it was on a Disney channel, but it's hilarious. And then you get these cute little stands, and that's a magnet. Okay, so in his booth he had it, so they were spinning. I guess they don't spin in real life, but you put them... But it doesn't matter. They were super cool. Yeah, and it's the detail on the back that really sells me for it. So it's two separate drawings of the exact same position and character. Except for you get the awesome detail on the back. And, uh... Bill over here. And uh, then from my boyfriend, I bought Captain Tidepants to add to his collection. Yeah, and these I'll get all day long as far as even Martian Manhunter or Lincoln Film and stuff goes. And again, it's fan art, they're custom made, uh, basically one of a kind. Now these are printed and sold somewhat, and that's you're not going to find a lot of things. Delicate, so you take a certain amount of care but they'll get it from me for sure. Yeah, I'm just putting them up on the shelf. Clearly, I got the Pit Boy because, and again, I love it because he has one of his Pit Boys in it. Yeah, is the Pit Boy holding another Pit Boy? Yeah, and it's then so he's on. holding yeah, another so Pit far. Boy, yeah, so yeah. And he's in Vault 101, so not the newest game. But still, again, a beautiful Super. piece. You look at the detail on the Pit Boy. And this one is a no-brainer because I've never seen hardly any toys. There were a few people at the con that were dressed av avatar -y. But this is probably one of the best shows I've ever watched. You laugh, you cry. If you have, I'm being serious. If you haven't watched Avatar Airbender. Oh, the last Airbender. Not Avatar, the blue... Yeah, I can't remember what horrible director did that. I one. think it's the dude that did Titanic and like Terminator. James Cameron. Yeah, it feels James Cameron written all over it. So, uh, yeah. I love it. As soon as I saw this, I was like, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful. And again, these is just a small selection of and what they have there. And if he's fun, would be super perfect because his character like literally spins on this ball. And this is, oh, perfect, we do have their card. I put their card up at the beginning as well, but they are uh, really wonderful. And then they have this guy at the back. Yeah, he was a super cool dude. I don't know if he works with someone, but yeah, I loved it. I loved it, I loved it. Is that it for our artist, Abby? I believe so. You showed your wristbands, showed your t-shirts. Uh, so many more artists were down there, I think. There was, this year at the con of Fan Expo Toronto, uh, there was a whole other level, I literally mean level, where there was so much more room given Artist Alley, um, they put it nicely by a bunch of tables, which I think is something you have to do for the artists to give them more foot traffic. Uh, and it was so jammed in there, we could barely move, and I hope that the artists did well this year. Um, it was totally deserved. And this book, uh, you read it, loves it, and like you said again, sounds it saying you can get a good look of his waves. Logo his name, probably has a website. Oh no, he absolutely does. He has website. Check him out. He's also a... Uh, super awesome. Yeah, his work uh, is incredible. And for people that read real graphic novels and novel books, it's, this is one of them for sure because it actually has a good story. It's a thinker. It's smart. Well, it's another it's yeah. It's another example of when people get like, oh, well, the comic books just about promoting movies and there's no comics anymore. There's still a lot of beautiful, beautiful work. Dude, there's even a, uh, a collector card booth, and I was like, I thought of that dad for sure, <laughs> and they were packed. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Oh, not Aang.